Ohio's first congressional district is one of the most watched races in the country this election cycle, and many polls call it a toss up just one week out. Yeah, it features a longtime West Side politician and a political newcomer, and it is set against three major national concerns. Here's anchor Evan Millward. 2020 will be defined by concerns over our economy, our health care, and social justice. Let's start with COVID-19 and the economy. As negotiations over a second relief package continue in Congress, Republican incumbent Steve Shabbat of Westwood claims victory with his role in bringing billions of Paycheck Protection Program funds to the district. He wants more. People are still hurting. Um, consideration of direct payments uh, is something that, that we certainly, uh, I think, need to do personally. Democratic challenger Kate Schroeder of Clifton has battled cancer and spent years as a public health professional, including on the Cincinnati Board of Health. The testing availability is a huge part of it, but we also need expanded PPP, expanded unemployment. We need support to our schools, our postal service, everybody on the front line to make sure that they have the personal protective equipment that they need. The future of the Affordable Care Act may be in question with a new Supreme Court conservative majority. Schroeder would keep it. We need to ensure that there is a mandate and that the subsidies are large enough that it's more affordable than it's been for families. And we need to ensure that there's the continued support for navigators to enroll people and continue to expand Medicaid. Shabbat wants to replace it with something like the GOP proposed American Health Care Act of 2017, which failed in the Senate in part over concerns about people with pre-existing conditions. American people deserve quality, affordable health care. In my view, they deserve better than Obamacare. Um, and I think we should replace it with something better. It absolutely has pre-existing conditions covered. I would not vote for anything unless pre-existing conditions were covered. No with voices and fists in the air nationwide this spring and summer, our country demands social inequity be addressed, starting, it seems, with law enforcement. There are a few bad cops out there. Most of them are great and work hard and try to keep us safe. There are a few bad cops, and those bad cops, we don't move in, want to move from one location to another. So their disciplinary records need to be available so other communities know not to hire uh, police officers that are going to be a problem. Shabbat introduced the Safer Communities Act, calling for that and using Cincinnati's collaborative agreement as a model for the nation, something Schroeder agrees but would take further. At the federal level, we need a lot of the principles and policies that we've learned here that do work, but then we need to continue. We're never done learning, and so we do need to continue to respond where there are opportunities to even build and further refine. Is that common ground, maybe? Both candidates also pledged to reach out to the other side of the aisle. I'm really committed to being part of the Problem Solvers Caucus, which is this group you can only join with a member of the other party. Every time I introduce a piece of legislation, I always get a Democratic co-sponsor. And that's just the start. You can read more about their positions on other hot topics and why this race has so much attention and money behind it. It's up right now on WCPO.com. I'm Evan Millward, WCPO 9 News.